Hi guys, Maverick Veteran. Um, hope you're all well. Um, not happy. Just got word from Jeff Williams at Veterans United Against Suicide that we now have 46 suicides. A um, couple of days ago, I reported and said it was 42. So we've had four more suicides in the last couple of days. Um, this is stressful. This is stressful shit. And... Um, Why? Why are we losing these people? You know, um, one's too many, but 46, and we're not, we're barely halfway through the year. We'd already exceeded last year's six months, six month total four or five days ago and and I predicted that we would make a hundred by the end of 2020 well at this rate of going we're gonna make well over the hundred I'm struggling with it um who's to blame for all this yeah, we keep speaking to Johnny Mercer, but is it really Johnny Mercer? Please no. Two seconds. Is it really Johnny Mercer or is it someone a little bit um, higher up than that? Is it somebody that's making the policy? Now, I put a video out not so long ago saying that Johnny Mercer was strong, he was robust and everything, and that was that was back in 2018. Two years down the line, he's dumbed down, he don't give a tops. That's that's the way it appears to me. Um Is it really Johnny Mercer or is it somebody above him that's making the policy? Well, if it is somebody above him making the policy, there's only one person that's making the policy above him and it's not Boris Johnson, it's Stephen Lovegrove. So Stephen Lovegrove suddenly now becomes a target for me and the veteran community. Um, all I'm going to say is, Stephen Lovegrove, stand by, because I'm not going to I'm not going to sit by and stand by and listen to all this bollocks anymore. Um, with every fibre of my being, I will make such a row that I will make damn sure you are the next person that Dominic Cummins gets rid of. Because, and I'm going to play this again, this video again, I'm going to play it. On Monday, I'm going to do a live. And I've got five influential people on that live on Monday. And I've decided this in the last just few minutes. And then on Thursday, I'm going to do another live. I've showed you up once and I'm going to keep showing you up until such times as you either stand down from your job or somebody grows a pair of bollocks and sacks you, gets rid of you from your job. If you move into another job and you end up with a 250 grand a year wage packet and, and I don't give a toss. But if I can get you away from service personnel and veterans, I bloody well will. Because you are no good to us. 
you promise us the world and you give us nothing. And I've probably in the past been a little bit unfair on Johnny Mercer because I always blame Johnny Mercer because Johnny Mercer is the, the Minister for Veterans Affairs. But I've suddenly just woken up after hours on end of pondering over stuff and re-watching videos and I realise it's not Johnny Mercer, it's Johnny Mercer is just the voice. But he's reiterating your policy. And you're just a you are just at the end of the day a scumbag. You sit there and you write policy. You are the head of the MOD civil service. But you are an absolute scumbag, Stephen Lovegrove. And I, and I don't give a toss right now, I normally keep myself quite right so that the police don't come and knock on me door, but I don't give a fuck. Because you are employed by us, the British taxpayer, and you will do exactly what we want, not what you bloody well think we want. You're pulling Johnny Mercer's strings, you're pulling everybody's strings within the Ministry of Defence, and the veteran community is not going to stand by anymore. We have exceeded last year's six month total and we are coming for you so be scared be very fucking scared because we will send you out of parliament we will send you out of the civil service we will put you in space and in space nobody can hear you scream Sigourney Weaver said that. Do you remember? And I like Sigourney Weaver. She's sexy. She's forthright. And she's honest. Which is three things that you ain't. You are going down, son. You are gone. I've got a bald head. You've got a shitload of grey hair. So you're not really doing your job, are you? Because an old military saying is, grass never grows on a busy street. I'm always thinking, that's why I have no grass. You don't think at all. You're just a complete cunt. End of broadcast. Ladies and gentlemen, this call sign is out.